The terrorists of ISIS released a video that appears to show the execution of yet another Western hostage, British aid worker Alan Henning. The video also directly mentions President Obama bombing in Syria. Uh, this would be the fourth known hostage to be executed by ISIS, and the terror group is threatening that an American is next. An American is next. Jim Acosta uh, is at the White House briefing room where they are preparing for an Ebola press conference. But obviously, uh, Jim, it's uh, one crisis to another, even though the president wants to talk about good economic news. Now we have an Ebola press conference that might be uh, upstaged by this horrific news of another uh, beheading of a British hostage with an American being threatened next. Jim? Uh, that's right, Jake. And, and we should point out that Lisa Monaco, who is the president's counterterrorism and homeland security advisor, she's going to be leading uh, this news conference here in just a few minutes uh, here in the White House briefing room. The president, as you know, is in Indiana right now, and, and she was slated to talk about uh, the Ebola response here in the U.S. and what's happening in West Africa, and she's going to be joined by the Health and Human Services Secretary, uh, Sylvia Matthews uh, Burwell, and the uh, head of the NIH, uh, Dr. Fauci. But, uh, but, Jake, obviously, because this is a news conference and reporters will be asking questions, I think it's quite likely that uh, Lisa Monica will be asked that question about this apparent beheading video. And uh, obviously, this is going to be another challenge for this administration, because with an American being threatened next, uh, the president uh, just uh, can't seem to be able to escape uh, what is a, a very, very serious foreign policy challenge, and that is uh, ISIS, apparently, uh, despite uh, about a month of, of bombings in Iraq and now in Syria, uh, is still doing what it has been doing for several months, and that is terrorizing Americans with this kind of horrific